Welcome back everyone to another beer review. Uh, so next beer up is one that I picked up from uh, Tesco's last week it is now. Uh, be a week I've had it. Uh, it was released I think during their last sort of craft beer range release. It was never about where where I was. Uh, I mean, say it was never about. It certainly wasn't there. I went there a few weeks after the release, I think, and there was nothing there. Uh, and I hadn't been running around going to the shops since. And then last week, just happened to go in Morrison's to have a look because I heard there were some new ones. Uh, and yeah, and picked it up from there. So uh, the next beer up is one that a few people have uh, reviewed. And. It's from Brewdog, and this is a can of their Choco Libra Mexican Hot Chocolate Stout. Uh, it's coming in at 8.2%, so it's not a weak one. 402 mil can because of the nitro. Uh, new Brewdog branding sort of thing as they're doing. For me, it doesn't work on this one. I think the, the last one I'd done, I'd, I don't know, just the colours and that just suited the branding for me, but... Not so keen on this. I suppose the pinky, ready kind of, I don't know. Fucking God knows. Anyway, <laughs> so so there we go. Uh, before we get cracking, I've had an early Christmas present off the wife. Uh, so it's something I'm going to be using, hopefully regular, unless I've actually got the branded glasses for the beer. Uh, I don't have a big brew dog. Well, I do, but... More like the IPA one, but I'm going to christen the new glass that I got off the missus. And I don't know if you can see, but it's like a big pint tulip glass. And on, she's had it engraved with all the beer, no idea, and Barry's beers underneath. So, uh, real cool that, well chuffed with that. So, I'm going to christen it now on this one. So, without further ado, let's get it out of the can. See if I'm a fan. We're going to get a big gush of bloody thing here. Uh, I didn't say the price actually. I think it, I think it was three pound, but it could have been three pound fifty. So uh, there we go. And by all accounts, this is the way you're supposed to pour these beers. You see, apparently just wang it in and just let it settle. And thankfully, I did double check the size of the glass. Because uh, I didn't want to end up just wanging it in and then realising that I wasn't going to have any room left. That's apparently what they say. So I'm going to have to give that a couple of minutes, I reckon. But first impressions, I mean, at the moment we've got a three finger head. It's probably going to go down to a, a two finger tan, smooth, creamy head. It's looking, oh, I can't remember the colour. I wouldn't say jet jet black but it's as damn near as possible I'm guessing uh, I can't see any carbonation as you always know I've got pretty poo light in here there we are we're looking at a good good two finger head on that now looks as you'd expect so looks really interesting and there you go you should be able to see uh, the old engraving there now with a dark a dark beer in there so so the beer in the glass looks really good you can see the old bubbles chasing the head there when I tilt it. it. Looks really good. So let's dive in on the nose, see what we get. Chocolates, Mexican hot chocolate stout. Seen a couple of reviews. I'm expecting it to be smooth, creamy, chocolatey. Uh, I don't remember what everyone else has said. Uh, and a little bit of heat maybe on the back. So let's dive in on the nose, see what we get. Yeah, creamy. Chocolatey, sort of a lactosey kind of aroma in there. I'm just trying to read on these things. No chance of seeing on there. Well, it probably is if you've got some. There is, yes, there is lactose in it. I can just see. Uh, God knows how they expect you to read that. Can, can any of you see that? Look at that, how tiny is that? Unbelievable. Anyway, a little bit boozy. I'm getting the sort of lactose aroma in there. Chocolate, creamy sort of smell. Smells good. So without further ado, let's dive in. And thank you very much, 
Mrs. Lee for my early Christmas present. So cheers. Smooth. Really creamy in your mouth. Not getting so much of the, for me, not getting so much of the chocolate for me. Uh, maybe this is just me. I'm getting, I'm getting that sort of chilly sort of heat in there getting the chilly heat in there not getting the chocolate heat's getting me more on the back now for someone that likes hot sort of sp stuff spicy stuff chilly sort of thing I've got to be honest this isn't my cup of tea I don't think just getting a warm stout and I'm getting that chilly well it's not I don't know it's I'm guessing it's coming from chili uh, but I really don't like the taste of it if I'm totally honest uh, I have had a chili infused beer before like from Estonia or Finland and I wasn't keen on that and if I'm br brutally honest, uh, I don't like this. I really don't like that to the extent that I don't think I'll drink that. Does it do what it says? Hot chocolate? I'm getting the Mexican side of it. There is a hot chocolatey feel in the mouth. And then you're getting that that hot sort of chilli sort of taste for me in there and it that doesn't do it for me at all that really doesn't uh, yeah for me yeah it does what it says on the tin but for my taste buds it's not something I would go for uh, and that's, I think that's the second chilli beer I've had. Like I said, I wasn't impressed with the first sort of chilli beer I had. I'm not impressed with this one. I think that's just down to my own taste buds. I personally can't see how anyone would like that. I just don't get the, the taste, just don't do it for me. Uh, so that's this beer review done, unfortunately. And I will genuinely say it's a shame I've christened the glass with this one. Uh, for me... I think that's horrible. That just that just hot sort of chilly sort of spicy sort of taste in there <sighs> just doesn't go. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. So anyone out there thinking of picking this up, feel free to pick it up. I certainly wouldn't recommend it. There are much much better stouts out there, and this just for me the taste just doesn't do it. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Unfortunately, some you win, some you lose with these. And unfortunately, Chris in the glass with the wrong beer, but I will do another one after. Ooh. So thanks for watching, everyone. Much appreciated to all the new subscribers. Uh. Anyone that uh, doesn't see any more of my videos before Christmas, have a good Christmas. I will be back with some more, so keep watching if you are a regular watcher. And uh, I'll see you again soon on another peer review. Cheers.